with the easiest way to do pull puff braids without using any rubber bands and also with hair you already own yes i said no rubber bands at all let me show you exactly how i did this we will be using thread instead i repart the front section to make more room for more braids this hair was actually thread braiding hair i'll show you in a little bit how we made it this curly i'm going to crochet two bits of that hair into my natural hair braid i'm showing you something that i've already done at the back of my head on only one braid i didn't show you that now i'm showing you because it's at the back i've already done it now we're going to do a little twist you can also use this hair for passion twist so stick around to find out exactly how it's made so now we're just twisting the hair i didn't start the twist from the bottom because i didn't want the bottom to be too bulgy and also i hadn't yet decided how long i wanted my hair so i wanted the twist to run as long as it possibly can you get it okay. if you don't get it forget about it so now I'm just going to take a little bit of that hair and just wrap it around about three times. The third time you actually tie it to secure it. You can use any type of hair for this. I just wanted to use hair that's accessible to everybody. So I decided to use braiding hair. You can use Mali hair, which is actually what I started with, but decided to change after. So now I just wrap the thread around, leaving a little space from the scalp. I'll show you in a little bit how to make sure that there are no loose threads or any knots at the beginning of your wrap. And also how much space should be in between each wrap. Be sure to secure each part by tying a knot before moving on to the next part. So go on and wrap a second time after leaving a little bit of space. Now the purpose of that twist that we made was so that you could remove it after the second wrap. So after doing this wrap, remove the twist and then continue twisting. I didn't do it here because I didn't think anybody would want to see it. This is the first time doing this, trying it. So that's how much spacing I did from there to there. Okay. Okay. The reason for tying or securing each part, besides just wanting it to be secured so as it doesn't untie, is because you can do any kind of hair length that you want. If you wake up today and say, I want a shorter length, you can have a shorter length. Wake up tomorrow and say, I want a bob, you can have a bob. Wake up tomorrow and say, I want a fringe, you can have a fringe. Because, baby, you secured every part of that and you can cut through anywhere you want. Another reason I switched to using thread instead of rubber bands is because thread blends in with the, any kind of hair it's not like rubber bands that can show through it's shiny a little bit thread blends through just fine unlike rubber bands that can be a little shiny sometimes i got six of those to use pear braid i crocheted in two pieces per time so i crocheted in three times two pieces each time as i use six all together do not crochet everything together Girl, don't do it it's not worth it six in total again get a few pieces of hair and wrap around the best to secure it and do not forget the spacing do not forget to secure it and tie that knot baby also remember to fluff out the hair so it covers your natural hair nicely now this is how you wrap the thread to make sure you don't have any pieces of thread sticking around you don't want that in your hair make a u with a thread and place it behind your hair now loop those two ends through that little hole in between the thread doing this will prevent you from having to tie a knot that's going to be visible on your hair you see this level of genius you see this level of genius also look at the level of focus trying to find the loop guys it's hard to breathe but that's alright after positioning the thread keep wrapping wrap about three times or four times to make sure it's secure enough it's tight enough before you move on to the next part be mindful of the spacing in between tie a knot before moving on to the next part and also make sure that your hair is well hidden in the hair before you move on and tie that so i just part. continue wrapping all the way to the end because at this time i wasn't so sure what kind of length i wanted so i just went all the way down so the pattern remained the same for the back but when i got to the front parts i divided each part into two because i didn't want it to be so spacious when starting your next tie please position your thread like this watch as my hands go you don't want to tie wherever you want make sure that your next tie aligns with the last position your last tie was on so if it was underneath make sure that your first tie on the second one is going to be underneath as well if it was to the left it should also be to the left that way you don't create a spiral kind of thing so i know you're wondering won't the thread be showing from one bubble to another and the answer is no actually i only saw when i ran through after i finished i ran through and each time i didn't see any thread showing i only saw it twice and for that there's a quick fix just fluff out that part of the bubble and push the thread in there and you're good to go so somebody just asked me if these were forelocks what do you guys think do you think these look like forelocks or would you do this if you were too lazy to do forelocks also i would like to know would you prefer using thread instead of rubber bands i personally prefer thread it was much faster and much easier rubber bands 
require you to keep looping the hair to make that tie which i found a little strenuous to be honest and also just the fact that thread is more accessible than rubber bands made me even more excited to do this for you guys but if you prefer rubber bands please go ahead and use rubber bands i've seen great results people use rubber bands with great results and if you fluff out the hair well enough it will not show i decided to use braiding hair for the same reason as well it's easily accessible but also look at those curls i finished and cut the hair off camera and Now let's get into how to really make this hair for these bubble braids. Get your hair out and some plastic. I'm using the same plastic that the braiding hair came in. If you want smaller curls, use a small plastic. If you want bigger curls, use the whole bit of the plastic. And just wrap your hair around like this. This is a fun, simple way of curling your hair with no additional equipment. So just go ahead and wrap that around the plastic and also do the same thing for the smaller plastic. While you're doing this, have some water boiling up because you'll be dipping this in some water. That's how you get the beautiful curls. Now go ahead and dip that into your hot water and wait for 5 minutes. That's enough to get those curls. You can wait for this to dry with sunlight overnight if you like. But just to show you guys, I dried this with a towel and the curls had already formed so beautifully. I just love this method because you can have all sorts of sizes at once anytime you want. You don't have to worry about getting different sizes of perm rods, flex rods, all at once my friend. That was legitness. Yeah, it was. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and let me know in the comment section which curls you prefer using for this style. Is this the bigger ones or the smaller ones? And if you love easy hairstyles and you love this one on the screen, so just click right here.